and welcome to Knitting with Joni here at the Cathedral City Library. Want to learn how to knit? This is the place to start. Today we are going to be learning the three basic steps to knitting. Casting on, the knit stitch, and casting off. Alright, let's get started. Right, so the first step to knitting is called casting on. So you're going to take your ball of yarn, I chose purple for right now, and we're going to create a slip knot. So you're going to wrap one loop around your finger, another loop, and then you're going to cross the loops over, cross them over again, and then take them off your finger and pull. And that creates a slip knot. So I'll go over that one more time. So wrap the, wrap the yarn around your finger, around again, and then cross the loops, cross the loops again, and then while pulling the top loop, take it off your finger and cinch it tight. So now you're gonna take that loop that you put and slide it onto your left knitting needle, which creates your first your first stitch and then you're just gonna tighten it up on your knitting needle so it's a little tight but not too tight and then so you're gonna take your right needle and slip it through the back end of your needle like so and then take what you call your working yarn which is the yarn attached to your ball and wrap it around the right end of your needle and then drag your right needle back through the hole on the left hand side and then to finish the cast on you're going to put your left needle back through the hole and then drag it onto the left needle which creates your second stitch and so now i'll show you how to do that again so you put your right needle through the left and then grab your working yarn and wrap it around the right hand needle and then put it through the left hand stitch and put the left through the right, drag it over. Should now have three stitches on our needle. So now we're just gonna continue this so you put it through the loop on the left hand needle, wrap the string around the right, through the left, through the right, and then drag it off onto the left needle. And so we're just gonna continue this until we get to the desired amount of stitches that we're casting on. For this project, we're gonna be doing 20 which will create the width of our project. So you can just through the hole, wrap it around, through the hole again, through the right, off the needle. So.
All right, so we're on our last cast on stitch. So through the back of the loop, around the needle, back through the loop, through the right, onto the left. So your, your cast on stitches should be looking about like this. It's okay if they're not super neat. I'm still learning too. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect. Now you have your first row of knitting, which is your cast on row, and you're ready to start your next row. So it's very similar to casting on. You're gonna go in through the back of your first loop, like so, and then always wrap it around, and then you go back through this loop, and then you just slide it off of the left needle onto the right. So, through the loop, wrap it around, through the hole, off the needle. Through the loop, around the hole, through here, off the needle. Through the stitch, wrap it around, through the loop, off the needle. And you just keep going until you finished the row. So through there, around, through the loop, off the needle. Through the hole, around there, through the hole again, off the needle. Okay, so I'll check in with you when we're done with this row.
right. So you should get to the point where all of it is on one needle like this. So when all of it's on the right hand side needle, you just simply switch the right hand side to the left hand side and you begin your next row. So I'll go through knitting um, for a few more stitches and then uh, we'll send you on your way. So through the back of the loop, around the right hand needle, back through, and then slide it off onto the right needle. So through the loop, around the needle, through the loop, off. Through the loop, around, and off. Right, so now you just keep going back and forth until you get to the desired length of your project. For this, it was just to get the hang of it, so you can just go as long as you want. I'll check in once I get a little bit more, when I get more done, to show you how to close up your work when it's done. See you in a bit. Alright, I have reached the desired length of my project. I was just making a little tiny bookmark so it's not very big, but you can go as big or small as you want to go with your project. We're going to begin what is called the bind off or cast off stitch. So you're going to start by knitting two stitches onto your right hand needle. So let's knit them normally. So Knit one, 
and then knit the second one. So now starting with the bottom, so you're going to go in through the bottom stitch. So the first stitch on your right hand needle. And then you're going to pull it over the first one without pulling the first one off your needle. And then pull the bottom stitch all the way off. And it should go off. And then you're going to knit another stitch onto the right hand needle. And then again, go in through this through the one that you had knit the first time. And then bring it over that stitch. And off. And I'm just going to continue doing that. So knit one. And then go in through the bottom stitch, over the top stitch, and off. Knit one. Then grab your sec the stitch that you knit first. Bring it over and off. So just continue that until you get to the last stitch on your on on your needle.
right, so pretty much down to our last stitch. So now we're down to our last stitch. So you're just going to leave a little bit of the length of the tail and then just cut it off and then tie a knot at the end. And then you're done. You've made your first project. Congratulations.